Hello and welcome to Clever Witty Gaming. So today we are talking about Dynasty Warriors 9 with some gameplay of Dynasty Warriors 8. So, what is Dynasty Warriors 9? When is it coming out? And should you be excited for it? And should you be worried for it? Which I am worried for it and I'm going to put that as a title because I am. there is some worrying future coming for Dynasty Warriors 9 and we'll be going into that throughout the video. So we're going to start off with when does it come out? It comes out on February 13th of 2018, so if you're interested, that is the release date. Um, I'm excited for it, I'm going to pick it up as soon as I can. Uh, as I said, I'm a massive fan of the series, and I really hope I get the chance to pick this one up on release date. But, um, for those who don't know, this game is about, as you can see, you're in the battlefield, and you hack and slash away for as many enemies as possible. Even though they don't really tend to attack you too much, um, if you want to be sort of like a one versus a thousand serial killer, this gives you the chance to do that. But with Dynasty Warriors, now the worrying future is the fact that they advertise a season pass to the game and they are cutting out characters. Uh, they're classing them as NPCs now and basically saying if you want to play as these characters, you should have to go and buy the season pass. So... Uh, one of the characters I know is Yuan Shu, and if you want to play as Yuan Shu, you now have to pay for the season pass, which for me, I, I'm really not happy about that, because the fact is, Dynasty Warriors is well known, each uh, version of the game that comes out, it adds a new character, at normally at least one new character, and this was Dynasty Warriors 6, actually removed characters, um, yeah, I don't know what happened there with Dynasty Warriors 6, but yes, at the end of the day, Dynasty Warriors is going down the route where it seems that they want to nickel and dime every version of the game they can and every chance they get now Koei Tecmo seem to be not listening to the fans I mean they want to take it to the future they, they want to bring this game into a modern era well not not to the as in like time wise but in gaming sense they want to have it as one of the biggest AAA you know releases of the year uh, but the thing is I mean, bringing an open world is okay, but we all know how open world games normally end up. They normally end up empty and boring, let's be honest. Um, but with this version, I mean, I'm kind of excited for it, but as I said, I'm worried about the nickel and diming they're planning on doing. I, I don't like the fact that they are making characters in the game and then want to sell us to them as a season pass if we don't basically held us at ransom they say oh you see this cool character if you want to play as them you're gonna have to pay us some money um that i don't like it feels like they're trying to blackmail us into well getting those characters um but yeah that's the worrying future of dynasty warriors as well as the the lack of uh ai really because the ai as you can see look i'll stand here for a little while one attack okay that was a bad that was actually a bad um <laughs> bad demonstration but still they should attack more than that like look at these horses they're just standing around they should be going backwards and forwards and charging at us and actually making attempts to damage the player a lot more if you look at dynasty warriors 2 it felt like each uh of the warriors of like the, the soldiers the units which all had different ranks would actually go out, out of their way to attack you and it felt like you're in an actual battlefield especially the amount of uh, soldiers you'd see on the screen at once and it would make the game really interesting actually uh, added a lot more replayability because if you just wanted to go into the into it just to feel the feeling of battle it was actually quite exciting um that's why dynasty warriors 2 will always be one of my favorite dynasty warriors um i need to pick up dynasty warriors 3 i think on the playstation 2 again just to see just to remember how that one was and uh, dynasty warriors 4 i just, just used to love it for the character creator but um yeah basically this is a worrying future for the series and if you're interested in the game i just thought i'd make this video and let you guys know that if you did want to play some of the new characters they're advertising that you would have to pay for the season pass now this is none of the characters as uh, i should probably say this not, this is none of the characters what they show in the promotional material like any of the way we will shoe characters they are all still there you don't have to pay for a season pass for them but there's a lot of other characters class class as other if you want to play as them you'll then have to go out your way and pay a bit of extra money to go and play as them which as i said once again i completely disagree with so there we are guys that was my video as a as a warning to those who are a fan of the series um yeah uh well we'll just see what it's like when it comes out um I know that uh, 
Jim Sterling, who's also a massive fan of the series, has also, let's just say, he's hinted some concerns about it and uh, hinted that it, it might not be as good as people might want. So, yeah. See you guys on the next video. Goodbye.